Hi, I'm Geodav and in this video what we're going to do is something that I've tried in the past multiple times and failed miserably. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Blender 2.7, a clean install. We're also going to use Apex, well NVIDIA Apex Physics X, Apex 1.3. 0.0 tools okay if you haven't got this you will ne need to register at the developer nvidia.com might take a day or two and then they should give you access to this stuff okay just make sure you register for the apex stuff because uh, basically we're going to do a little bit of cloth and obviously you're going to have to have unreal engine 4.01 now what i'm going to do is record this video in sections and then paste it all together hopefully so that it actually works because otherwise if i have everything open at the same time it's not going to happen so what we've got here is as you can see blender 2.7 we have got a very very simple yes that's not showing two-sided because I couldn't figure it out. But anyway, we have a flag with an armature with two materials. The flag material, uh, if I can actually get this to show, probably not. It's there somewhere. I will find it eventually. Uh, probably not. Okay. Uh, anyway. The flag is the first material. I know it's here somewhere, but I can't remember off the top of my head. And although you can barely see it because uh, the rig's in the way, there's another material for the pole. Now, as per normal, we have parented it to the armature and set the bone weights. And all you have to do then well, once everything's done, uh, go on very quickly, uh, wrong one, that one, hitting tab, I should have put a screencast on, but I'm, I'm sure you'll bear with me. Now, if I hit, uh, no, because I actually want that bit. Now, it's not showing for some reason. They uh, have, let's see if I can... Now, why is that not shown? Probably because I need to be round the other side. Now, uh, there was a way to get the... I oh, know, there's a left ortho. Why is that not showing? Anyway, vertex groups, these verts are... There we go. I'm sure I'll put it in edit mode. But anyway... The bone, which is the first one, All right, let's just make sure I deselect that. Select the first bone, select nothing is on that. Now that's just personal choice. Select the second bone and everything that's in there, and including, if I can go in there, this first two rows of verts on the flag okay they're skinned to that bone uh, deselect and select that one and that's pretty much the rest of them okay so very very simple skinning and then I made it extremely large and for the initial testing let's say I've made sure we have enough verts here to play with. Now, I'm not going to go into level of details in this video, but we might cover that at a later stage. The main plan of this video is actually to show you that it is possible and you don't need Max or Maya. Okay, so let's tab out of that. Uh, get out of there. Get it into textured, yes. Uh, well, I 
it was. Which one was it? There we go. Okay, so with it selected, just go in export FBX. Yes, I've done this before. And that's it. Now I'm going to stop the video, then I'm going to start up the other one and just so we don't actually cause my system to collapse on me. Okay, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, here we go again. Right, once you have actually got the uh, the Apex SDK 1.3.0 build, that might have a different build number at the moment. I'm not too sure because it's been a while since I downloaded this. But what we want to do is, once you've unpacked it somewhere safe, uh, if I can remember where this lot is. Uh, yep. Now, even if you're running a 64-bit uh, system, we're going to have to use the 32-bit. Okay, and what we want, because in the binaries, 32-bit. Now, you can either use the clothing tool check, Excerpt or the clothing tool profile. Not too sure what the difference is, but we'll just double click on it and it will open it. Can say, uh, what's that? Don't know. Okay, right, very simple file, load a mesh. Right, uh, we don't want that lot. I beg my pardon for that. My blender flag, there we go. Yes, I've done this before, but we're going to write, write over it. Here we go. There's our flag. So we don't want that one. We just want the uh, the first material. Uh, we want to paint the max distances. Now this is probably going to play up a little bit because I'm right, paint full scale, scale it up, radius size, and we're going to basically just max that all out. Now this is where I do my heading because now it should actually show me. Uh, where is it? There we go. Right, painting. Sometimes you do have to show these things. Right, uh, that's what I wanted rid of. Uh, it's getting a little bit jerky here. Now, what we want to do now, as you can. If you've actually watched the NVIDIA videos, this will be obvious to you what I've done here. Okay, I'm not going to explain it because I'm just doing as per C, as per I know, and all the info behind it, I'm not too sure. But we are painting the max distance that these vertices can travel on the sim simulation. Now, if I just leave it like that, the whole thing's just going to flop to the floor. So what we want to do is bring the radius down, uh, down a touch more. And these inverts here, now I'm going to use, like it says, right click, it says here, to disable values. So basically I don't want this lot here. On the very edge to do anything now they go black I think the main idea is actually to get them to go purple okay so once the purple we can uh, zoom back out of it the navigation on this is I would say a little bit counterproductive but hey ho now once you've got to this stage you might want to play around with these to see what everything's doing. 
you then go on to single layer cloth start simulation and as you can see these are sort of like catching because they're not moving all the distance that you want so if you go back into there <coughs> what you might want to do is if I whiz around, around here Right, scale that you can scale it up and then if you go back to single layer cloth start simulation yeah it's still not going all the way but we'll leave it at that and then once you're happy you save your asset now it will try and save it like that so I'm gonna go back into here into blender flag and just overwrite that and we're done okay so I'll be back in UE4 in a minute he said come on okay here we are in unreal engine 4 now as you can see here if i zoom out i made a template of the third person well it says it here tp tpsbp which is the uh, blueprint version of the third person template now all i'm going to do here is show you the initial import into the content browser and setting things up and that's it I'm not actually going to put it into a level and all the rest of it so we're going to go to the content browser uh, you know what we've we got there uh, right okay let's just get rid of that because we don't need that and we're just going to import now it sees all these things just import your FBX file first make sure if you're using blender use TL ref reference blah 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 now we get the file version and the bag yeah right and just very so keep right clicking because that's what I'm used to do save selected now as you can see here I've already got the textures and materials set up quick look at them now, I was going to show them because uh, but I think I used this template for something else so make sure you've got it ticked with you use with skeletal mesh and use with clothing okay right back to the mesh open the mesh up it will just doesn't like it when I'm recording now as you can see here we see the flag not very well and recording is not very good but here we go Right, let's just reduce the size of that materials no that's not the one that's the one put that there put that there now we can max that out again now let me just double check there I didn't so Let's go back and see if we can get that opened and take it to be two sided. Now you might think this is a little bit slow but I think it's mainly because I am trying to record. Yes, uh, do it. Da -da -da -da. Compiling shaders, yeah, 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 yeah. 
At least it's quicker than what it used to be. But hey. Right, next thing we want to do is, like I said, you just import your static mesh, import your, your textures. You don't import your Apex file into your content browser. Okay, remember that. So we input, we go onto clothing, import, open. All right, so it's imported it, as you can see here. A little bit of LOD information might be useful later. And then on the first material, which is the material where you, your cloth is acting, add it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But you see, it falls to the ground. It doesn't look pretty. For some reason, now I'm you obviously using the newest one that I've got access to. Maybe Epic's got a newer version. And just to show that it does work, let's go on to apply wind. Bit of strength in there. And because we haven't got a lot. A massive amount of movement there. Let's just rotate that round. Now let's show, oh, give it a bit more stick on the wind. Not a great deal, but as you can see, it is moving. I don't know what the tangent problem is at the moment, so. At least we've got something. Okay, and that's it, and I'll see you soon.